Hi, y'all. It is Thursday morning, and we are finally, finally setting up to have a nice weekend. We didn't get bombed with three inches of rain on Wednesday like it seemingly happens every week so far this summer. The river is down to, wait for it, wait for it, mid-500 CFS this morning, and I can actually use the word clear without it being a stretch to say that. We've had good fishing reports this week for all the all the species. Actually, good trout reports, good smallmouth reports, um, and even pike. Well, you really need to be in a boat to get out there and target the pike. Our, our guides did a kind of busman's holiday at the beginning of the week and did very well on the pike on the fly. So we probably have the best conditions we've had all summer. They really seem more like um, <clears throat> September, I would say. Water temps have been low to mid-60s most mornings. Um, still seeing a few white flies. I mean, that the bait, the main hatch is over. We're seeing a light hatch to very light. Um, I wouldn't come up here expecting to hit the white fly hatch. You'll probably see some, um, but I wouldn't expect you to see a lot, although I have had a couple of reports in the last days of guys hitting a decent hatch. Uh, in my mind, the glamour hatch right now is the Isonychia. That usually starts up as soon as we start getting cool nights, which has pretty much been the case all month. And that's usually late afternoon, maybe starting around 4 or 5 p.m., going till dusk. Cooler days, overcast days, it might start a little er earlier. You get a hotter day, it might start a little later. They're a fast water bug. They're a big mayfly. They're about a size 10 or 12. And they are my personal favorite hatch. They start usually around the end of May, beginning of June, and they will go right into typically mid-October. And they're a big bug. In fact, the ones we get in June are 6s, 8s, 10s. They're, they're actually huge. Uh, the ones we get this time of year are a little smaller, but they're still probably average of 10, a 10 to a 12, I would say. Uh, let's see, what else? We're still shooting to stock some rainbows in September. I didn't raise enough funds in time this spring. We're hoping to do a big stocking. So when any of you come in, whatever you can donate, whether it's a dollar, five dollars, twenty dollars, a hundred dollars, we actually have a nonprofit set up. So for those of you who want to make a, a big uh, donation it is legitimate tax deduction we can give you a, a form for that um, weather looks great this week and the highs are going to be in the mid 70s the lows are in the lower 50s it's actually been getting down in the high 40s some nights when they've been predicting low 50s um, i don't see any major rain events we might get a little dribble overnight into the morning I'm talking maybe showers or a isolated scattered thunderstorm it doesn't look like anything problematic whatsoever in fact, at 550, it'd be nice if we get a couple of dribbles of rain each week. It would be this would be a great flow if it would just stay here. This is <clears throat> damn near my penultimate flow for waiting. You know that five, six, seven hundred CFS level is great. It's enough water. The fish will still hold in between the pools and a pocket water, but it's not so much water that you you can't get at them. You got a shot at both trout and bass right now. Your best shot at trout would be mornings, and uh, I would say evenings. And uh, late morning to late afternoon, bass are going to be your predominant uh, species. It's also going to depend on what you do. If you're throwing a, a chartreuse, clouds, or minnow, you're probably going to catch mostly bass. Uh, you know, if you're nymphing the fast water at the head of a pool, you're definitely slanting your odds more toward catching trout. So it's looking like a great weekend, guys. Get out there. Um, the fall fishing is starting early on the Housatonic. For HRO, I'm Tori. Hope to see a bunch of you here this weekend.